In previous versions of Cubase, the left and right locators controlled the position for the punch-in and punch-out recording, but now there are actually new locators for the punch-in and punch-out, so let me set this up and show you how you can use those new features. First, let's move our left and right locators to measures 2 through 6 to make a 4-bar region in which to record. But now, instead of starting the recording at the placement of the left locator, we're going to set the locators for the punch-in and punch-out around measures 3 through 5. So to reveal the punch-in and punch-out locators, we could come down to the transport panel and click on the activate punch-in and activate punch-out, and that will place both of those locators at the position of the cursor, so you can see both the in and out in red right here have been placed at the beginning of the project. But now to position the locators, there's a couple of different ways to do it. You could come down to the transport panel and click on the little separator here, and you can enter the values you want. So if you wanted to get in at measure 3, but out at measure 5. Now if you look up here in the ruler, you can see that the punch in and punch out have now been placed around those measures. So let's see how the punch in and punch out works now. So I'm going to arm that audio track for recording and I'm going to locate to my left locator and with the cycle on, I'm just going to let it go round and round so that we can talk about this. So right now it is recording. But then since the punch in and punch out is activated, then it's going to punch out at that certain point. And now it's going to get in for the second take through that cycle. So it's going to continue to play through the locators, but it's going to punch in and punch out the recording around the punch locators. Now to activate or deactivate the punch in and punch out feature, you can also type the I and O keys on your computer keyboard, and that will toggle whether you're using punch in and or punch out. But there are other ways to move the left and right punch locators. You could click and drag on them to reposition them, but you can also use commands under the transport panel. For example, I'm going to move the cursor position here to measure 4, then under the transport menu, under punch points, I'm going to choose to set the punch in point at the project cursor position. So that's going to move that in point. And then if I wanted to move the out point to measure 6 right here, I'm just going to relocate my cursor right here to measure 6, then go under the transport menu, choose punch points, and choose set punch out project cursor position, and that's another way to move the punch in and punch out points. But if you're like me, you'd want to use keyboard shortcuts, especially if punch in and punch out recording is something that you do a lot. But when you go to the transport panel and down to punch points, you'll notice that those last two commands that we used don't have keyboard shortcuts, so let's go ahead and define some. So I'm going to go under the file menu and choose key commands. Then I'm going to search for the command that I want. So this is going to be set punch. Then I'll click the little magnifying glass icon here. And here's the command we're looking for. Set punch in to project cursor position. And I'm going to click in this little field and type in the keys that I want to use. So I'm going to hold down the alt key along with the controller command key and then type I and that is going to be my keyboard shortcut to do what we just did manually. So I'm going to assign that as the in point, and then for the next command, the punch out point, I'm going to click in this field again, hold Alt along with Controller Command, and type O on my computer keyboard, then click the Assign button, and now I can use those same commands to move those punch points around but I can use keyboard shortcuts along with the cursor position. So if I move my cursor position to measure number 2 here, then hold down Alt and Controller Command and type I, now I've moved that punch point to measure 2. And if I wanted to move the out point to measure 4, hold down Alt along with Controller Command and type O. And you can assign any keyboard shortcut that you want, it's just that one isn't currently used by Cubase by default, so that's a good one to use if you use a lot of punch in and punch out recording. So that's the new punch-in and punch-out recording. Next, let's talk about improvements to the ruler.